Welcome to the first Club 5 of the Hockey Nation live show. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another edition of the Hockey Nation live show. We have a special edition for you today. It's called the Club 5 with the Hockey Nation live show. The Club 5 is about the five best team or surprise team during the week or since the beginning of the year because this is really the first show. The second five is for the team on disappoint or they are not play at the level they should play. Then we do the same thing for players. Five players that surprise us since the beginning of the year and also five players they are not playing at the level they should play play so let's start right away with the first five best team i have to give credit for the boston bronze with a record of eight one and two um they all play over what i was my expectation was for this team we know they already win the president trophy last season uh, but still with the loss i thought with the loss of shara and uh, Tony Crook, I believe they would be hurt them, but still, they still perform very well with a record of 8-1-2. Number two, the Winnipeg Jets, uh, the North Division, with a record of 7-3-1. They are third in this division, doing very well. I put them out of the playoff, to be honest with you. Uh, they just surprised me with the new Pierre-Luc Dubois with them. I think they were helping them to have a better season. Uh, number three, the surprise, this team, Florida is 6-1-2. and two. Uh, They lost the last game. It was the first game at the, at the regular time. They lost the game this year. Um, they're doing well on the Central Division. They are number three at that moment. I'm not sure they are going to consider what they did so far, but we have to give credit to the head coach, Joel Kenville. Number four, Arizona Coyotes, 5-5-1. Five, five and one. This is over my mind. Uh, great performance at the goaltender, Ranta, a Quimper over there. And also the Kessel, Schmals, Keller, Eftorak, and Chinkran, the defenseman. This team is on fire with, honestly, they play over what I was expected. And finally, this is the number five. And again, they are not on uh, by order. And I just make five team there. The Chicago Blackhawks, five, four, and four. Be honest with you, I was expecting them to be me. Maybe the worst team in this, in this league this year. But again... They all surprised me with two players, Kevin Leskinen, uh, Lenkinen, the goaltender, and also Patrick Kane. Uh, Patrick played amazing since the beginning of the year. Carry on, honestly, this team on his shoulder. And with the loss of uh, Jonathan Toes and, uh, you know, uh, Alexander and Nalander and also uh, Dak, I thought this game, uh, this team going to struggle and, I'm very really surprised they play over 500 at that moment. So uh, we need to give them credit for the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, let's go move on with the five best players so far. Of course, we have to start with uh, Conor McDavid with nine goals, 17 assists, and 26 points. Listen, this is amazing. Uh, they play barely... Um, 13 games so far, so you have an average of two points per game. It's the same rate like what Wayne Gretzky was doing in the middle of the 80s. Number two is GVR for the Philadelphia Flyers. Seven goals, 11 assists for 18 points. Uh, GVR was the, the star of the month on the East Division. Um, he's really have a great year so far. He has seven straight games uh, with seven goals right now, a goal per game, and so he's doing well. The third one is Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver struggled a lot, but he's still performing. He has one goal, 15 assists for 16 points and 14 game. Um, he struggled on the defensive side, but we have to give credit with this team. Uh, he have a good season so far for Quinn Hughes, defenseman. Uh, Jeff Pedry with the Montreal Canadiens, six goal, eight assists, 14 points and 12 games. Um, doing very well. Uh, that's another surprise we did not expect this year. Um, as one of the top best defensemen um, since the beginning of the year in NHL. So a uh, great performance. And finally, the last one I just mentioned about Chicago 
we have to go with Patrick Kane. Six goals, 11 assists, 17 points. Um, it's just, for me, it's, he played one of the best seasons so far. Um, you know, we can add more players. I understand this. I just pick what I think they surprised myself, not what the people thinking. It's just for me, uh, they make um, something what I was not expect so far and since the beginning of the year. So a uh, great performance for all the five. Next page is about the struggle team. We have to go to Vancouver Canucks, 6-9-0. I knew they would not make the playoff, but I did not know they would play so badly uh, since the beginning of the year. Uh, the six of the three of the six win is against Ottawa Senators. So Honestly, they struggle against other teams. And Montreal, one reason they struggle is because Montreal beat them uh, four times in five games. Number two, Calgary Flame. I'll tell you why. Five, five, and one. I know they won the last game again in Mountain, five to three. But I expect, I put them at the first team in this North Division. And I thought they would be better. Still have some problem. And uh, they need to get better uh, if they want to make the playoff. They are on the bottom line right now. Number three, the Buffalo Sabres. I'm difficult. Why the reason I, I put them? They are last in division four and um, and the East division. I know they did not play only 10 games, and I know the COVID-19 um, is a problem for them. Still, with Tyler Hall and everything they got this year, I expect more at 500. Number four, the San Jose Sharks, 4-5-1. And, and the reason I put them, them I know Los Angeles and I know I'm Ducks, but San Jose with Eric Carlson don't do well. Marlow struggle. Uh, the best player for this team, they don't have a good year so far. And they need more if they want uh, to perform and to make the playoff. I put them in the playoff. And they, for me, it's a, a team uh, they don't do well since the beginning of the year. Finally, the Islanders, this I'm a little bit difficult with them. And, and the reason why they are 4-4-2, four, four and two, uh, when I make that list, they won the last game, but they struggled last week. Uh, the last three of the four games, uh, they have only one game. They win the last five. So for me, um, I expect a little bit more. Um, Eberle just came back, but uh, Josh Bailey does not play the level they should be. But they won the last two games when I'm talking to you right now. I'm recording this, but still, um, I will expect a little bit more for the New York calendars. So um that's what we had with that list of the five. And finally, we have to finish with the five players struggle the most in the beginning of the year. And let's start with uh, the San Jose Sharks. I just mentioned them. Uh, Vlasic and 10 game. He have zero goals, zero assists, zero point, minus five. He have a big contract over $7 million. I know we have, you know, Carlson there, Burns. And, but again, he, he does not play at the level we expect to play. Number two is Jake returning with a Canucks Vancouver 11 game, one goal only, one point. Um, I was, you know, everybody, we have a big story about him at Berlin during the summer, but now Vertanen need to produce more if he play in the top nine of that team over there. So um, that's one disappointment for me. Number three, and now you're going to say, hey, you're a tough coach, but Alex Lafreniere, uh, first round pick, overall pick, the 2020 initial draft. 10 games with the Rangers. He scored one goal in, in uh, OT at one point. I was expect more. He looked like Jack Hughes last season when he was a little bit worse. So he skated well, but still cannot produce any points so far for the Rangers. Number one, Jeff Skinner signed a contract at two, two years ago, $9 million. 10 games so far with the Sabres. One assist, one point. This is really disappointment for me. Uh, I was expect more from him. Everybody was expect more. He signed a contract in nine years. Sabres suffer with this contract. Finally, it's maybe hard on him, but Q7 have a good year with the New Jersey Devils last year. Uh, this year so far, nine games have only one assist and minus six with the New Jersey. Why the New Jersey Devils doing well uh, since the beginning of the year, but I was expect a little bit more uh, from this player. And imagine him doing well, how the New Jersey can be now, I'm going to be hard on Matt Murray, and I apologize. He played the last three games very well. That's not including a game he played yesterday against Edmonton. We have a record of 2-5-1. His game, uh, 
Game again, average per game, 4.10 is very high. And a safe percentage, a safe percentage of 8.75 is not good enough for what he got for the contract. $6 million with Ottawa Senators. But he's doing well for the last three games with Ottawa. I have to, uh, have to admit this. Finally, this may be the worst. Jonathan Quick, he have a record of 2.22, a safe percentage of 8.67. And also a game average of 4.05. This really as was not what I was expect from Jonathan Quick this year. And they are right now all my club five of the Hockey Nation live show. Hopefully you enjoy the club five. Uh, this is a new program we bring to you every Tuesday, like I mentioned before. When the Monday is all about the power ranking, the Tuesday it's about the club five, the Hockey Nation live show. I think it's going to be fun to bring this to you every week. Don't forget to, you can leave your comments and you tell us what is your club five or maybe on the team or on the players so we can share together We're talking about this. I just want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel and also on their um, Facebook page under the Hockey Nation live show. It's a uh,